This is Mr. Ferguson. And this is Mrs. Ferguson. <laughs> and we go by the name of Mr. and Mrs. Ferguson Art. We met in 2008 at Burning Man. I'm originally from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm a homegrown boy here in Hayward, California. The beauty of Burning Man is that they allow anyone and everyone to be an artist if they choose. We didn't have any experience or training being, you know, getting into this, doing artist work. But we saw other people doing it and we thought, you know, we'd like to try. And so we did some modest things, built up from there, got more and more complex. There's definitely specific roles that we have found over time that work for us. Lisa, I would say, out of, out of the two of us, is the real artist. She has the inspiration. She has the artist's eye. I am the Mr. Practical. I can do that. Yeah. She has to tell me what she wants, and I figure out how to make it, and how to get it done, how to get it there, and how to get it home. With our first project, we had some ideas of working with some materials that we thought might work at Burning Man. They were a little more difficult than they should. Uh, it, it seems that the only materials that work out there are steel and wood. By 2011, we, we built ourselves uh, some uh, steel roses, which work well because Robert owns a welding shop. <laughs> yeah. We got married under those roses at Burning Man, so to continue this romance thing. And in 2011, we built a wedding cake. Yes, and that was fine too. We were finding out what worked out there. Before I left Canada for the United States to be with my husband, the Canadian government was terminating the, uh, the run of the Canadian penny. So there was going to be a, uh, a lot of them around and in piggy banks and people's drawers. And I thought, why don't we grab all as many of those as we can and, and make a tribute to pennies or use them as a material. And then the other added attraction there was, is that we decided to make a goose, a Canadian goose, because it kind of symbolized Lisa's journey from Canada down to California to come and live here with me after we had been married. We found that with this Penny the Goose project, people enjoyed pennies. They, they had an affinity with it. Perhaps it's because everybody has pennies in their pockets and every penny has a story. And then we thought, let's try a new way of presenting pennies uh, and try a different animal and, and just a, a, and a new, just a new challenge for us. So right. we worked on their, our first bear. But with this new project, this new Ursa Major project that we embarked on, we actually stood the pennies on end to simulate the fur of a bear. And it really worked well. But the big challenge that we had really was learning how to carve a bear. And the two of us didn't have any formal education in, in carving bear no. and carving animals no, we didn't. or carving much of anything. We cut her some major into two-dimensional form, stood her up, looked at it, and looked at it, and we were afraid to actually start cutting. At a certain point, when I was about ready to say, I have no idea what we're going to do from this point on, Lisa picked up a small three and a half inch figurine, put it in her hand, and just started to carve. And slowly a, a bear was emerging, which was great. The penny placing was done with teams of friends, who we still can call friends, uh, <laughs> coming out <laughs> on weekends and evenings. And we would put down hundreds, sometimes thousands of pennies each session. My job was to mix up a batch of stucco for the penny placers to put the pennies in. And so I'd make a batch about two foot by four foot, and lay that down almost like a cake, like a sheet cake. And then the placers would come in behind me and would then start laying the pennies one at a time. And that's what we told people, that this bear was made one penny at a time. And that's true. Yes. Well, I think Ursa Major turned out better than we could have ever hoped. I mean, she looked wonderful out there. Um, and people were drawn to her so much. There's a little gag that happens to them because you realize, oh, it's tactile and it's made of pennies. You can, I, we, sometimes we stand back and we, we try to overhear what people are saying. And they, they, it's always the same thing. They go, oh, this is made of pennies. And they, yeah. and they just keep touching it. And, and the, it's, it's fun for them because it's tactile. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's absurd as well that because the first question, if they 
that, that gets asked is how many pennies are there? Well, about plus or minus 160,000 pennies. But who's counting? <laughs> uh, the project you see behind us, this is uh, Ursa Mater. This is our, our 2017 contribution to Burning Man. Uh, we're quite proud of it. It's uh, not as tall as Ursa Major, but it's wider and it includes two bear cubs this time. That's right, more pennies. We love mind trickery, we love texture, uh, we love whimsical and projects, so we'll keep taking those on as much as uh, we have the energy and uh, friends to help us. That's right. Will you help me make my next project? Yes, I will. See, you have it on public record. <laughs>